Brian Tamanaha. I'm a professor of law at Washington University School of Law in St. Louis, uh, and I'm the author of Failing Law Schools. U.S. News doesn't measure the quality of your legal education. So whether you go to a top law school or, or, or a mid-ranked law school like Brooklyn Law School, you come out with much the same legal education. What's really important is that the, the effect that the rankings have on law schools, because once the rankings were created and then began to have an impact on student decisions. Uh, law schools focused obsessively on the rankings and did everything they could to try to maximize their, their position in the rankings. I think we lost our moral compass. Uh, we, we became so wrapped up in this competition that we, as, as a group, were willing to do whatever it took to maximize our ranking. And, and ultimately, law schools have to be re held responsible for this. An indication of the enormous impact the ranking has uh, on law schools is the admitted falsification by Illinois Law School in Villanova of their LSAT and GPA scores over several successive years. It is indicative of the kind of pressure that law schools felt and the, and the competition that we have engaged in with one another to move up in the ranking. Law schools have been advertising salaries that were highly unrepresentative uh, of what graduates were actually earning. And students who looked at the U.S. News Magazine and looked at the law school pay job pages, employment statistics pages, would not have been able to figure this out from the information provided. If you look out at the, the attitudes that recent judges have expressed in these lawsuits against the law schools, the latest decision uh, dismissing the suit against Cooley in which the the judge said no reasonable consumer could rely upon this data because it was so inconsistent uh, and inadequate and included the expression in the opinion caveat emptor and for me that's a sad statement about the diminished credibility of law schools that prospective students are being told by a, a federal judge buyer beware the only other possible solution is that law schools themselves begin to take the position that, that this is unacceptable behavior for us to engage in and to have more uh, better checks, to have auditing. Law schools can be audited on these numbers. To have the ABA take a more assertive stance about reporting, to have the Law School Admission Council get involved in verifying the numbers. And, and for, for the ABA as well as U.S. News to punish in a very significant way any law school caught in reporting uh, false or misleading numbers. If, if the sanction goes up more so than it has been recently, which is mostly embarrassing or slap on the wrist, uh, that you, you will always have people willing to push the edges. If, but if the sanctions go up, that might actually get, get people to s remain in compliance.